Hello, Virgo, and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess Tarot. Let's see what we've got. Seven of Feathers, Preparation, Resourcefulness, and Three of Acorns, Foresight and Exploration. This is the Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands. So this is your mid-month check-in for the second half of August. As you will all be knowing that this means we are moving from Leo season into Virgo season. So happy birthday for all you beautiful August but uh, Virgos. So let's see, it looks like you've got some clear sight ahead. You're seeing some things ahead that are starting to take shape. You're starting to see something clearly and going, right, that's the path I'd like to go down to explore. But it, it just feels like, hmm, like the, the way clears, like the clouds clear and suddenly it's like, ah, this is the way. So it may take a little while with the seven of feathers. That's very much a Mercury retrograde kind of energy. And we uh, have Mercury retrograding through your sign and then it will go back to Leo, then come back up into Virgo again and turns direct at the end of the month. We also have a very big full moon on the 19th, which is potentially quite dramatic in the full moon in Aquarius. So there's lots happening here, but I feel like this... Uh, this Mercury ret retrograde can work in your favor. Once we come out of it, I feel like we come out of the fog and you start seeing something really clearly. And whilst there might be some reevaluating of some ideas or perceptions or thoughts about a person or a, a direction that you want to go in, it definitely feels like you've got your head above the water at this stage. You really feel like you've got clear sight and it's like, yes, feeling really a lot clearer in your head, I would say, with where you want to go next, what you would like to explore. So let's see what is shifting and changing for you, Virgo. Let's see what is shifting and changing. It's like, oh, I might just like to check this out or I might like to just have a look over there and see what's what's happening over there. And it's this kind of quite curious energy, but it's like, oh, that looks interesting or this person looks interesting. There's something that takes your, you know, your interest. It piques your interest in some way and it's like, hmm, or oh, someone. <laughs> so there's something coming in around this. Yes, yeah, Sword King. So much going on inside your mind with this Sword King Aquarius crown. Absolutely. I feel like the, there's potentially a person around you who has a very, very strong mind. This could be somebody who's very intelligent or has a very strong intellect in a way or that they just have, <laughs> they know what they think, they know how things want to be done and they know what they believe. So sometimes this can be somebody that's a bit stubborn in the way, like inflexible in the way that they want to do things. But I actually feel like there is a meeting of minds here with you and somebody else, which is actually going to be in your favor, that's going to work in your favor, that's going to be beneficial to you. So yeah, interesting. This Sword King energy is a very cool, calm, collected and detached kind of energy, whether it's a person or just you feeling that way within a situation. But it feels like... Yeah, it does feel like, okay, I'm in the driver's seat now. I, I feel happy with how I'm seeing and perceiving something. And so you've got the high priestess coming up as well, which feels almost like there's fated things between you and this other person. Like there's a fated meeting or a fated conversation or, uh, yeah, something coming through. It doesn't, this doesn't ha necessarily like mean it's something kind of romantic it can be the Sword King can be a conversation like a business meeting or a conversation with a healthcare professional or something like that that's more we're not talking about emotions, we're talking about facts and figures and we're having like a rational conversation here. So across by the Page of Cups, let's see, uh, yeah, it's all, look, okay, here's the, the Ace of Cups, the Sun card, ooh, very nice, the Page of Swords. The Two of Swords, there's communication between you and this other person and a decision that is needing to be made. The Ten of Wands, Judgment Card, the Hermit, this is your Major Arcana, Virgo, and the Four of Swords. Okay, what? Oh, look at all that. Another four. Four's coming out and 
we have the Six of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so we've got the King and the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands. So, all right. I feel like, you know, you've got a few pages around as well. So I feel like there's a few messages coming in around you and another person. And this, again, I keep feeling this is something really beneficial for you. Now, if this is like you do have feelings for this person, it may be that it's hard to talk about the feelings or it's, it's you're not sure how they're feeling back uh, because this is all in your head conversations, not talking from the heart. So we have as the main situation the high priestess. So when the high priestess comes in, there is you've been very guided to this particular, to what you're seeing here. So the person that you're seeing, the person you're having the conversation with, the situation that you're seeing really clearly, the high priestess is like a little fairy godmother that brings little signs and synchronicities. You might see little signs along the way, but definitely it's like the universe wants you to see this. And it feels so it's kind of doing everything in your putting it in your path uh, so that you will see it really clearly. It's crossed by the page of cups. So the page of cups is opening your heart to something, nervously opening your heart to something. But it's this real kind of it safe, feels safer to be in your head about it or to think about it rather than to feel your way through this, which is interesting, even though you're thinking about <laughs> the Ace of Cups. So you're thinking about how you're feeling here and there could be new feelings coming in. There could be, um, you know, Ace of Cups, this could be a, a, the birth of love, happiness, joy, just feeling very differently, a lot of emotions. But I feel like there's a lot of emotions that you're thinking about. I don't know if you're necessarily, like it feels like yeah, you're, you're analysing how you're feeling here. So it's not, yeah, it's this king of swords thing can be energy can feel like I'm taking a step back and being the observer and being yeah a little bit more cool, but I still know how I'm feeling. <laughs> or it could be the opposite, you know, you're wondering how the other person is feeling, but it's like thinking about these feelings here. At the base, the, we have the sun card. So this is actually really fabulous energy to come through at the base because it's saying, again, the sun is clarity, that deep down inside uh, on a very deep level, there's a breakthrough happening here. <laughs> there's a sense of breaking through some feelings, uh, feelings that felt blocked in some way or that it, whether it's some kind of healing or love, joy, happiness, whatever it was, it feels like Yeah, it, it feels like with the Sun card that it wants to bring the joy back into a situation is what I'm getting here. And it's kind of, it's this interesting thing of I'm trying to work out how to access this feeling. I'm trying to get that feeling coming in. But so far it's like I'm dancing around it, like I can see it there and I'm kind of over here. So it feels slightly interesting and detached. In the recent past we've got the Page of Swords. Yeah, there's messages that have been coming through uh, and, yeah, receiving news messages, definitely been um, new ways of thinking, new solutions, ideas coming through. But there's a very significant person that feels like you are meant to meet this person and have this conversation for whatever reason and it's going to be really healing for you and it's actually something that you are needing but emotionally it's like you sh maybe don't want to open up to vulnerability with this just yet. In the near future, we've got the Two of Swords. So there's this kind of energy of indecision, like maybe a few little choices and lots of little choices and directions that need to come up here. But there is a choice that you have here. <laughs> you have the choice. You can see very clearly maybe how you want to feel and very clearly there's like the pathway towards that is right in front of you and being shown to you clearly and you have the choice to step into that. 
you're presenting as the Ten of Wands, so it feels like you're working really hard here, Virgo. You've taken on some burdens uh, and this might really feel like it's lightening the load a little bit or it might feel like a really great sense of relief that um, you're able to make this choice and see clearly the new direction that you're going in. So energy surrounding you is a judgment card and this is interesting next to the Page of Swords. Both of these are about messages coming in, very strong messages. But this judgment card is saying there's an opportunity here for a rebirth. There's an op opportunity here for an irrevocable ending and rebirth. And so you're getting the message and you're getting it from the higher realms from the divine. So it comes in in this little page of swords, but it's right next to the angel trumpeting the message. So it is a divine message that's coming in that you're getting and showing you very clearly how you can access this feeling of joy, happiness, this thing that you're wanting to feel here, whether it's love. And it's like, you want to feel this? I'm going to show you how to do it. So the judgment card definitely, I think it's really a really good energy around all of this to help you sort of shift from an old energy that is not serving you anymore. Hopes and fears, we have the hermit card. This is your major arcana, Virgo. So this would be a sense of wanting to make a wise choice and decision with this two of swords, but it's also going deep into your body and really connecting in and grounding into your body. And it's this mind-body connection because if you do that, in your mind you've got the Ace of Cups and deep down you've got the Sun. These are really nice energy and in the middle you've got the High Priestess, which is your intuition is wanting to give you some really strong messages here. But there's something, oh, an emotion or a message uh, that's come in or something somebody said or an emotional response that is blocking you from trusting your intuition here. But this is all such a beautiful energy, the Ace of Cups and the Sun card. So if the Hermit looks deep within to see what it finds and wants to find the light, what is it going to find? It's going to find the, the Sun. You're going to see the beautiful light that shines within you and this is where the happiness lies. This is where the breakthroughs happen. This is where you're going to find the answers. So it's interesting because we have beautiful Miss Stella here. The hermit thinks it's, it's uh, I, you know, it, it feels like the hermit is only expecting like the soft light, starlight of the lantern and it's kind of got this limited... Uh, perception of what is what exists within deep within and then it's saying no you're like this beautiful blasting sunlight furnace inside you've got this beautiful light that's really strong so the roosters are agreeing I don't know if you heard them so it's almost surprising to look within and see your own magnificence and to find your light and this is life force energy as well, the sun. This is life force. This is a purpose, a sense of purpose. So <laughs> Stella's, Stella's seen a bird outside. But anyway, she can't get to them. So let's see. We have as an outcome the Four of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. So it's is I feel like your throat chakra is being unblocked here, which is really fantastic. I want to put these two down. So we've got the two fours. Fours are about foundations. And I get this sense of calm. It's like if there's a few um, some choices and decisions that are coming up here for you, it's take your time. Find that place of calm before you make that choice and decision. There could be a major mindset shift here about how you're opening your heart and who you're opening your heart to and able to maybe transition on to from any kind of funky energy that is coming in and that Stella's sitting on the six of swords is when you're transitioning on and the queen of swords is giving yourself the green light to move on and get the clearer waters so it's also this energy of not being afraid to to 
Again, the Queen of Swords is very clear inside herself. Her head is above those clouds of fear and doubt. So it's this sense that if you want to move forward with a conversation or with a decision in your life, then it's about getting really clear inside of you before you make that external decision that's coming through here. And it's very foundational because I feel like there's beautiful new things that you're exploring here, especially in the realm of health and heart. That That's what feels like it's coming in here. And we have, as an overall energy, the Page of Wands. And interestingly, the page is coming is going into the desert where there hasn't been any water. We're wanting that beautiful Ace of Cups. We want the water, the intuition, the feelings to flow, the love, the joy, that, that feeling that you're searching for here. We're wanting it to flow. And the page says, I have to go into new territory here. I have to go exploring. I have to go and see. I have to explore this part of me or this place or situation in my life that I haven't been or person that I haven't been able to emotionally connect to. But there's this beautiful growth on its wand showing that the feelings, the water, the intu intuition is starting to come back to return. So there could be some emotional repatterning with this as well. This could be something you haven't explored before or a relationship you haven't explored before. And it seems promising. Absolutely. And it also might be something that you've neglected in your life that you're ready to come back in and explore. There's this beautiful energy of exploration and growth that comes in with this. And it's like this Queen of Swords is very clearly wanting some kind of freedom, mental freedom from something that has potentially weighed heavily on her or she ta she's taken on a lot of responsibilities. So it feels like you may have taken on a lot of responsibilities here, Virgo, and this is really lightening your load in some way. And it just feels like fresh new energy that you could be feeling def differently. There's a sense of emotional renewal that can come through with this as well. And it's like searching for that cup, the Ace of Cups, the ha the Holy Grail, the thing that can bring you peace, can bring you joy, can bring you happiness, can bring you new love or rejuvenated sense of love and freedom, however you want to be feeling. And the universe is showing you how to do this and perhaps how you've been shutting that off and how you can go back and reconnect to that and explore that and find that in your life. You're going to see that really clearly, whether it's through a new path or a new connection or even traveling for some of you can come through with this. But it's really beautiful because it's like this Queen of Swords is getting really clear and almost giving herself permission to go, yes, I want to go down that path. And it's more about you seeing something clearly that you can feel the way you want to feel and giving yourself permission to say, yes, I want to go and explore that. I see that would be really good for me really clearly. And yeah, it's about giving yourself a yes. <laughs> so let's pull an affirmation card for you, Virgo, and see what's coming in. We have two have come out. Okay, we have a release or criticism. Actually, interesting. I was getting that with the judgment card as well. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. So this is about coming back to your own beautiful heart and finding the magnificent light within. And I'm at peace with my sexuality. This is interesting because I do get like connecting into your body as well. And as we have Venus in Virgo, it may be really listening to what your body, the love language of your body, what does it need? What does it like? What, how does it feel loved? All of those sort of things can be coming in with it. It says, I rejoice in my own sexuality and in my own body. My body is perfect for me in this lifetime. I embrace myself with love and compassion. Beautiful. Okay, so we are not doing charms this mid-month. We're doing animal spirit energy, animal oracle energy. So we have rabbit and golden egg. <laughs> this is actually really cute, Virgo. It's like the rabbit's going, what am I going to do with this golden egg? 
Rabbits don't lay eggs. But I've got this beautiful thing here. It doesn't feel like a part of me. It's that sun, that light, that golden light that exists within you. But the rabbit still thinks this is an amazing, special thing. You know, the egg is about something that's about to birth. The golden light is joy, happiness, and it's the sun, the light that we were talking about, and the Ace of Cups is the birth of joy. And this rabbit's going, I've got this really special thing, but it doesn't feel like me. But at the same time, it feels precious and I'm so excited I've got it. So it's this reconnection to a part of you that doesn't feel like you, that's ready to birth, but it's golden, it's beautiful, it can bring you this joy, which is really lovely. And this cute little rabbit, I don't know, it just, it's the element of earth, so it's about grounding this down into your reality, into your world, and just how cute and excited it is. I like, I want it to jump around jumping around for joy, quite literally. So it, there are some beautiful blessings coming your way, Virgo, which is lovely because we're coming into your season. And I feel like this is such a special surprise, but it really is a reconnection to a very beautiful part of you that perhaps you haven't for so long or haven't been able to reconnect to this feeling or this part of you that it feels so exciting and you know it's part of you but it just feels almost foreign even until you get to know it again until it births into what it wants to be birthed into and it's this belongs to you it's yours it's your special gift or your special thing that is birthing here and that's what I want to say there's because they keep bringing me to this um uh, the gold in the crown. I was getting that throughout the reading. I'm like, I don't know what you mean by that. They kept going gold crown, gold crown, gold crown. And as you know, crowns are a sense of entitlement. Like this is yours. It's your authority. You, you reign over this. You own this. You are the leader here. And so all this gold in the reading, <laughs> you might even get gold, but it, it just feels like this gold energy that might beautiful energy or that color might resonate in some way for you. And it just is, I feel like it's the light of the sun, that beautiful rejuvenating energy of the sun, which is really beautiful. So that's your reading, Virgo. Happy season. I'm so excited for you. So happy for Virgo season. And please follow me on Instagram. There is no extended reading for the mid-months, just a reminder. And please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. Happy birthday and take care.